Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. We are here in the Falcon Hauler. Uh, this ship uh, is inspired in the YT-2000 from Star Wars. And in our last episode, we um, were in a, a Tier 1 system, the Alpha Valir system. And uh, today what we're going to do, we're going to continue um <laughs> that's the flashlight we are going to um go back to um our starting system and we're going to fetch a uh, a bigger vehicle so when you usually in um interstellar rift when you get to a tier 1 system you have access to uh, more uh, materials that let you create uh, ships with tier 1 devices but in our particular game what we're going to do is we're going to fetch one that I uh, already made so let's check here yeah, we have so And this this other ship is in a tier one system. So I think uh, currently, yeah, currently we're in the Voltron. I was leaving stuff here. We're going to go to uh, the Rift Hub. Sorry, the Rift Station. We're going to go to the rift station so we can go back. By the way, this ship is already in the um, in the workshop. I will leave a link. I had to, to delete, I, there was like a, a previous version of this Falcon Hauler um, in the workshop but I had to delete it because I messed up with the, with the files um, yeah and this this ship uh, now the, the layout resembles more the YT2000 but of course it's not uh, I think I call it a replica but it's not a replica it's um it's based on it in ba it's based on the external layout but the internal layout is quite uh, there are significant uh, difference but uh, the thing about these um, layouts is that from from the original Star Wars is that they are not practical if you try to reproduce them here in, in interstellar rift uh, you end up with things that maybe resemble the original design but they're not really useful so I think it's not worth it to I mean if you're if you uh, are playing and you want a ship that really um, gets you uh, doing stuff gets gets the job done uh, you won't um, you won't you won't try to to replicate these these ships in interiors you can of course you what i find useful is that you you can like uh, base your uh, external layout on them and then um, use that as a starting point but there's always a, a compromise between uh, st aesthetics and usefulness and functionality I should say so this ship in particular 
Yeah, uh, has a lot of um, cargo and it's good for hauling and if I would uh, stick to the to the original uh, design uh, I would um, I would make like these uh, escape pods uh, at the sides uh, but in that case I wouldn't have these conta uh, containers so let's let's go back to the where is this system now? Ah, here. The uh, Vectron 6. That's right. Ve we're going back to Vectron 6. And we need... Oh, I forgot. I forgot the cartridge. Okay. So... We need 335 sandium so i will fetch the what we need so we need that and we need Santium. That's enough. More than enough. Okay, so I think we will end up uh, probably scrapping this one. Okay, so we need to introduce the cartridge in the rift generator and we place that there. And everything is set, we just have to press engage. We take our th stuff back and we head to our ship. because the rift will be ah. the rift is open now so here's our rift and back we go So we are back. We're back in the Vectron 6. Finally. So <laughs> if you are following this uh, series currently, um, I almost, th I, I thought that um, we were not going to come back. Because I I what I got like stranded on the I got stranded on uh, the Alpha Valera system. I didn't have a way to return to to the to this system. There's something you have to be uh, you you have to keep an eye on, right? Like if you travel to another system, that you can come back. So if your system is not able to open a rift 
then you would um, you have to use um, a rift station or a rift hub but it was the case that in the alpha valera system it, it was not developed so when i got there there was there were these two only two stations built like the voltron and the black market from the drifters and the problem was that um there are other st uh, station construction satellite you could give materials to them to to build other stations but the problem was that i couldn't have access to iron ore so they usually need iron ore uh, copper ore and sometimes steel sorry not ore but ingots and the only thing i could get my hands on was uh, scrap and this is what the black market would would sell only scrap if i will kill skrill i could um, s um salvage scrap and that was it <laughs> so and i didn't have access to any refinery whatsoever so at the end uh, what happened is that um, this traveling trade emporium uh, came to the system and I could buy then iron ore from them but I think this was only after I contributed some xanthium to the station construction satellite I think and I increased somehow the like also with uh, scouting missions uh, I increased the the influence of the of galactic trade faction in the system so I think maybe that was a factor but I'm not sure oh wait a second there's some skrills here we better get r get rid of them Oh, there are many. Okay. So these are like tier one. Tier one scrolls. Where, where is the station now? There. And there was another one, right? So some other scroll. Ah, there he is. They have a script problem here. It seems.
Okay. Well, combat is um, still a bit laggy. I hope they can fix that at some point. Okay, well, that's done. Now we're heading back to the base. And let's see. Maybe we can just we can just um, teleport stuff to the other ship. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what what is currently on this ship. Ah, uh, probably I have to repair the ship. Well, I could just repair it. Uh, because this, if you try to scrap a ship with um. That contains uh, that that it, um, has some damage in it, then um, it won't let you scrap it. So I think this is a way like to balance the game so that you don't exploit like a loophole where you um, destroy uh, like uh, have a ship damage, then you uh, salvage it and then build it again. Because one, it, uh, once it's built, it, it has no damage. So it's it would be like a really fast way to to repair a ship without any other resources than a ship editor. Um, but maybe that that would that wouldn't be necessary if uh, you would have less of the material scrap uh, salvage than what you need to to build it but i'm not sure uh, probably the case is that you um, you can salvage everything uh, so you don't lose materials when you salvage a ship okay but then let's spawn the other one i have a uh, store here is uh, a constellation ship this is one of my favorites because this um, constellation ship ah, there it is this constellation ship is a mobile factory so it has everything it 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 has um, an extractor it has two assemble assemblers it has um, one big refinery and two small refineries it's a really complete uh, ship so let's see uh, I have yes I need this the Byzantium also it's good if we have the mercury uh, what else do we need Oh, I'm not sure. Let's go to the ship and see what we need. I think fuel... I think this ship has fuel. So this, this ship, as the name suggests, is based on a Constellation class uh, ship from uh, Star Trek. <clears throat> so it's uh, it's a big ship 
or uh, I don't know if uh, to call it a big ship, but it's it's like bigger than my uh, this um, Falcon Hall or, or the Millennium Falcon. Here we have um, the refinery center, <coughs> and I will show you how it looks like from the exterior this is the bridge it has this big bridge here and this is the ship so it's quite big <coughs> In the disc at the bottom, you the, that's where the extractor is, and it has really uh, a big cargo um, area. So with this ship, I can I can build uh, things and I can also mine stuff. It's very versatile. So it's ideal, for example, for a, a system that doesn't have um, anything in it. So here is the access to the tail. So the, the tail, there are two sections, the, uh, the upper and the lower sections. And this, uh, this is where um, all these um, power and power generation, power storage is um, located also the the hydrogen tanks well currently we are a little bit out of hydrogen i think i will transfer some hydrogen to the to this ship so this is uh, the other like the other wing and then uh, we have like this stairwell that will um, go all over the like it will go through the through the disc from top to bottom and at the bottom I have the refinery and the cargo this the the, the refinery and the cargo section this is the cargo here and it has um, a cargo teleporter so it's quite big and down here we have the, the extractor this extraction area there's a modified version of this ship where instead of having these cargo pads here we have uh, gas um, scoops but this for a higher tier um, higher tier we because these cargo scoops are made with a higher tier material and in tier one you don't have gas clouds so this this um, you can always have this version of the ship if you get to tier one I think and in this level we have the assembly the these are refineries and uh, assemblers here okay so i think we can leave or or is it in the let, let me see because we need i think we need nitrogen to 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 create the xanthium yes we need uh, nitrogen nitrogen xanthium and uh, mercury so i have mercury 
And I... Ah, yes, here. We have some uh, nitrogen here. So I think I will leave this here. This... Uh, Also the... The Santium. <coughs> so, sorry. So the... The Desanthium, I will place it um, upstairs. Where is... Ah, this is the... <coughs> ah, and here we have the salvage area. We can salvage from here. And the views are really nice. Of the ship. It has... Uh, this one has some windows in it. So here you can see one of the... Um, how do we call this? Like uh, one of the wings. <clears throat> so here we have engineering we have a medium shield and a rift generator we can put that there um, so if we set it to tier 1 right to Alpha Valera it is to go to Alpha Valera right and we said uh, we set it to the corn ship times two we will need 171 uh, disanthium so we are good to go so now we can just uh, go to the to the tier one system what else do we need ah here we have more disanthium and Okay, and here we have a, pr a printer. Yeah, and we have some some card, uh, some um, cyber warfare equipment. So this this ship is um, quite complete. So there we go. So one thing we could do, maybe, is um, to salvage some uh, derelict ship. This w this was a new feature they added. There's some uh, there's these um, anomalies that you can scan, and then um, you get. You, you 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 can find derelict ships okay this is uh, a med bay here now oh, we're almost I think I should clean this up before it gets clogged okay and here is the power room with all the power boxes and or armor generator so I think that's it that's the whole tour we're going to go to the to the other ship transfer some fuel um I think well we will have to scrap the corn ship
I think one strategy in the game is that you could have several ships, right? But I, I don't think that you can... I don't think you can... Um, well, I think... Because I thought to, 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 to store the ship, right? And, and then if there's some Voltron in the other systems, maybe you can get your ships from there? I don't know. Because you can get your stuff from your vault. But you cannot... I think I will just store it for now. Let's go to the industrial complex. Let's store the Falcon Hauler. Okay, it's stored. We can go now. We will just create a... Um, a rift. We will go through it. And... So I think everything is set. I just have to engage here. 